We've got our tools ready. That's where we're at so far. We should be, we should really be home now. But we've lost two hours cleaning the cavity and an hour and a half going to Warrington. So there's half a day that we've lost. That's ready for building up the padstone going in. I'm going to do this side next. Right, we're set up. We've got our tools ready. We've, uh, I've got that part set up, Dazzer's kindly got the dust sheet set up for me on the other side. Ten blocks, about nine brick, and then just a load of demolition. A lot of pads. Yeah. It's ten o'clock, so are we having a yes. quick break? We're all set up, so I've got my cuts to do when we go back out. Yeah. So we'll catch you after break. Yeah. Nice shot. Cool. Hey, okay. Sledgehammer's doing, doing wonders. Pardon? Sledgehammer's working. Is it? Yeah, since you put, put a sheet up just behind it for, for um, flying debris. Somewhere. You're coming to see this. You might be just chasing that down now and pulling, pulling the cable off the wall. You see the socket, right? So, there's the socket. You'd imagine, like a normal place. Dad, I can hear that. You'd think normally you'd just go up, wouldn't you? Well, not this one. I don't know what the hell they were they were sloshed on when they started doing this, but pardon? In an angle. Yeah, but they obviously must meet up at the socket, so. If they're on an angle or illegal, cable has to go vertically or horizontally. They're not supposed to go up on an angle. Oh, well, there you go. Well, it's just common sense as well. Look at that. One of them's not even in the this. That's money going to the socket. That's pathetic, that. Yeah. How, I, I don't get how you you do that. Right. Right, you want your music now, then? Let's get a sheet nailed up first. He wants his music, so I'll put you on time lapse. Good news is, there used to be a door here. Yeah. What was that? The clock fell off the wall. <laughs> Hold on a sec. I can play the time now, my new watch. Oh yeah? Wow. Get a strap on that. Oh no. Not to be other than a clock. Bloody hell. Anyway, yeah, good news is that there's a door in the middle that's been bricked up with fat thermalites, so that's coming out a lot easier. The thermalites are nice and loose as well. Yeah. I'm just trying to get the plaster off so I can see where this wind will stop so I know how much I can get out. Best thing you can do is work your way along the top and pop that top course off. 
even use the bar to put to prise them off. Okay, and I'll get over here and get this, get this finished. So um, that's just standing on the wall. So we'll, we'll film this bit for now. You know what? Block it quick. It's what? just blocked in. No ties. It's just shoved in. Yeah. So the doorway is like a you know, like in video games where it's like the mystery door. It's oh like yeah. That, off colour, you just smash through it like a Mario or something. Yeah. Well, I've just gone to stop the camera and it wasn't going, so sorry about that, you missed that. So, brickwork complete inside and outside. Just need to tidy up a little around this area and then I'm going back there to help Alex spin you around. After some dinner. Um, almost no battery left. I left this on up during lunch, but that's where we're at so far. We should be, we should really be home now. But we've lost two hours cleaning the cavity, and an hour and a half going to Warrington. So there's half a day that we've lost. But um, hey ho, let's just get on with it. No, me. no, unfortunately, that Sweet. isn't. Oh. Got a fly. Can I talk? Carry on. Thanks. Unfortunately, that's not the finished product. It looks like it, but... <laughs> Carry on. No. Carry on. No. Go on, I'm going to the toilet. I'm going to the toilet. I'm going to Right, there you go. I'm going to the toilet. Where is that? Uh, basically, that's ready for building up the padstone going in. I'm going to do this side next because this side goes past that wall because it will run right up to the nib there. We left this nib on to give this little extra bit of strength here because you've got the steel going across here. And yeah, that's it basically. Alex is going to see how it's taking this lot down, clear it all out. Got the spare acro ready to get the steel in and propped, and then I'll put the padstones in underneath that. So I'm going to change the battery and put you back on time lapse.
breaking off this block, that's why it's so uneven. Yeah, that's fine. Do you, do, do you want to put a brick in now? Now I'll do the same as him. Over and you just stabilize it. Okay. Yep. Just push it against that wall. It won't go anywhere. Then. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Fire away.
목적이세요 저분이 
you're going to get a little surround shot of the inside in a sec. I'm just going to do the outro out here and then we'll pan to the finished footage. But I can show you this side as well though. So there's the window. New lintel there to match the new window length. All bricked up for a nice brick match. There's the finished result of that uh, little awful patch with the bricks we picked up this morning. God, that does not feel like it was this morning. That feels like feels like the other day now. Bloody hell. <laughs> but and in a minute you'll see this, the results of the seal work. But for now, I'll just uh, say thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always know when we're notified. That's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. Very much appreciated. This has been Bricklaying with Steve and a very dry Alex. Rainproof. And we will see you in the next one. Cue the steel.